It's been a long waiting game for Singaporeans with properties in Malaysia's southern state of Johor. With travel curbs lasting nearly a year, some have had to hire property management services to ensure their homes are well kept. But others have had enough and they're looking to sell. Afifa Arafin explains. This house in Johor Bahru has been empty for over a year, now home to a swarm of insects that have nested there. It belongs to Singaporean Zulkhairul Suradi, who bought the property more than a decade back as a weekend home. His last visit was a full year ago. Since then, the 49-year-old who works in the healthcare sector in Singapore has been locked out due to travel restrictions brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, with the border closure, with the house getting neglected, we anticipate that the uh, interior of the house will be very filthy. We've got lizard droppings and what have you. Uh, and the lawn will be very unkempt. We have to think about what to do when the border opens again, what are the things that we need to clean, what are the things we need to throw away, what kind of repair works that we need to do on the house. Many Singaporeans who own properties in Malaysia are now stuck in limbo, unable to enter the country to resolve their housing issues. Some owners still have to commit to monthly payments like maintenance, security and other services which they now cannot use. Others like Mr Zulkhairi worry about the state of their unattended homes. Property agents in Johor say more Singaporean owners are now actively looking to rent out their places. For those uh, who used the houses uh, for their weekend home last time, they wanted uh, to rent it out because they just want someone to take care of the places. And also, uh, we foresee that property management market will also increase because they really, really need someone to uh, take care of their property, example, to send cleaner to their place uh, once a month. And as the pandemic drags on with no clear end in sight, it has forced some homeowners to rethink their long-term plans. This Singaporean lawyer who deals with cross-border legal documents says there's been about a 20 to 30 percent increase in inquiries from Singaporeans looking to sell off their Malaysian properties. You know, the current environment, pandemic and so on makes it very difficult you know, for everyone. Right? So the interest is there. Some of my clients have been wanting to sell for a long time. Yeah, but uh, it is made worse by this pandemic. So now it's even longer for them to sell. But one thing to sell and actually selling the property are two different things. You may wish to sell a property, right? But uh, are there any buyers to buy your property and at what price? Currently, only foreigners with a valid work permit can enter Malaysia under the periodic commuting arrangement. While businessmen and those with official reasons may enter through a reciprocal green lane. Homeowners with no way in are appealing to the Malaysian government to give them some leeway to enter the country to resolve housing issues. Until that happens, the uncertainty continues. Afifa Arafin, CNA.